I'm joined here today with Constable Kelsey Davidge with the Lloydminster RCMP. You know, winter is in full throttle and the road conditions have been affected. So it's important to keep a few things in mind while driving on the road. So thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, of course. Let's start off with residential roads since they seem to be worse than the highway due to the less traffic. So getting stuck can happen quite often. What should people know or do if they, in the event that they do get stuck? Yeah, um, unfortunately, plowing is not really, we, we only have so many here in Lloyd and we try to get to, or the city tries to get to the roadways as quickly as possible. Uh, one thing I recommend keeping in your vehicle would be maybe a small shovel. So that way, if you were driving a vehicle that was lowered to the ground or you did happen to get stuck in some snow, you're able to shovel yourself out. Um, we also always recommend that you tell someone where you're going when traveling so that they have an estimated time of arrival for you. So say you were ended up being 20, 30 minutes late, that person's able to maybe figure out where you were and then you could get help that way by having uh, someone come get you. Now, you mentioned having a shovel in your car. I personally have two emergency kits in my car at all times. What other items should drivers be keeping uh, in the event that they possibly need it, whether their car doesn't start or they get stranded somewhere? For sure. So uh, we always recommend that someone has a winter travel kit. Some items that I would consider packing in your vehicle would include some water, uh, maybe some protein bars or granola bars, a quick snack that would be able to stay in a vehicle for a long period of time. Uh, blankets, we always recommend. Any phone chargers um, that you may need if you were to be stuck somewhere. Flashlights are always a great idea or even a flare. And always your window scrapers or snow brushes as well. Another thing that would be great to keep in your vehicle uh, for this time of year would be cable boosters in case you have a dead battery or in case someone else has a dead battery and you're able to assist that person. I'm sure you've already seen a ton of this, but with winter roads comes accidents, whether it's on the highway or in town. What should people do if they see an accident or how should they drive around it in the most safe way? Yeah, so again, just like when you see emergency vehicles, please be cautious of that person or that vehicle when on the side of the road. We understand that with this weather comes accidents. Um, so always drive cautiously during the winter because um, there is that additional snow and ice that just kind of add on to the top of, of driving as there is. Um, we, If you do see an accident and you're able to obtain uh, the plates off the vehicles that were involved or the make and models of those vehicles, you can always call the detachment at the non-emergency line and report that. If you're able to pull over to the side of the road safely, by all means, please do use your four ways and you can assist those people if needed. And obviously if it's a major collision where there's injuries, uh, please call 911. Now brushing snow off your car is the main activity during winter to ensure snow isn't covering your windows and windshields. I, I have noticed that some might leave their license plate covered or their tail, tail lights. How much should people be brushing off and is there any penalty for not having snow brushed off in certain places? Yeah, so just like a windshield, we would like vehicles to be cleaned off completely actually as well. So make sure you're hitting your tail lights, your uh, windshield, your mirrors, at the tops of the, your vehicles if possible, because if that sheet of ice was to fall off your vehicle and hit someone else, that would be able to, or could cause an accident. Um, and yes, please brush off your license plates. Uh, that's a way that police and the people around you are able to know what that vehicle is and register it to that kind of person, if that makes sense. Um, so there is a ticket for having an obstructed plate where police are not able to see it. So just add that into kind of your routine when cleaning off your vehicle that you make sure that your license plate is uh, clean. Is there anything else that the RCMP would like to remind drivers while on the road this winter? Again, in addition to equipment and safety, we always want you to plan your route ahead and let someone know where you're going. Um, if you're not familiar with your route, you can make sure that you always have uh, additional time or make sure that you have a map or a device that you can use mapping properly on, hands-free, of course. Um, also consider stopping overnight if the roadways are closed. Sometimes you have no other option. So possibly look ahead uh, on your route to see if there's any place you could stay if that would uh, if that was to happen to happen or happen to <laughs> occur. Um, always consider too that a vehicle may break down at any point in time. So having uh, someone to call or coverage with that is always uh, 
a good thing to have. And just giving yourself that extra drive time during the winter is, is key. Well, thank you so much for joining me today to get this information out there so the roads can hopefully remain a safe place for those driving this winter. Yeah, of course. Thank you.